I want to show you this very, very fine chain um, and show you how to use it to make chokers and to dress your little lampwork beads. It's the most amazing chain. It's very, very strong. I'm going to show you how strong. Let's see. If, you'd, if, if by watching my demonstration you decide that you want to use this chain, you've got to get yourself some and just abandon yourself to testing it. It is so, so strong. And that will give you the confidence to, to know that if you make a piece of jewelry out of it, it will, it will last. Um, the thing about it is that it's, it can literally go through crystals and, and two millimeter beads. So it's wonderful. The fact that it's silver really pleases me. Many of you will probably have used the soft flexes, the beadalons, which are also marvelous for small beads. And you know that when you use them, you have to double it over and then crimp it. Well, obviously with the chain, this doesn't work. So how do you end the necklace, you ask yourself? Well, you're going to use these little silver crimps here. They've got a waist in them, which is where you're going to pinch. Watch, instead of discussing it, why don't I just show you? I am inclined to use my curved nose pliers because they're very convenient. The angle is really convenient for holding the crimp. I know there are all kinds of wonderful crimp gadgets available um, and certainly give, give them a try. But for me, since I like to keep my tools down to a minimum, this is the one I use. So you put your chain into the hole and make sure it's through there and then draw it back until it barely, barely shows and squeeze your pliers. You need to squeeze it so that the, the squeeze is, is parallel with the loop, not at an angle. Now, I found that that isn't necessarily enough, so then I go in with my round nose pliers and I give it another good squeeze. And that means that this thing is now very firmly attached. So now let's make a necklace. I'll move my little star one out of the way. And I'm going to start with, let's see, a, a two millimeter round bead. A pearl. Now I, I must admit I do redraw my pearls and I do give a demonstration on my other video, but um, it I imagine that there are certainly some pearls that would go through anyway, but it's always a good idea to redraw your pearls so that you can use them on thicker wires and so forth. Then here's a water bead. One of my water beads It's made of recycled stained glass scrap. And then we got another rondelle. Another pearl. Let's see. So you've got to get it the right way around. This one seems to have a, a back and a front. And your other little your other little two millimeter bead. So there's the design. I just wanted to dress up the lampwork bead just a tad. I'm taking the other crimp. Let's see, got to get it right way around and hold it so that the, the crimp is parallel with the ring. Slip the other chain in. There you go. Just pull it out. Give it a squeeze. Take the round nose pliers, give it another squeeze. So now both ends are ready for the clasp. Well, normally I attach my clasps with some fine wire work because I really don't like open jump rings. But for this you need to keep the attachment really light because the chain is so fine. So I take a, 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 the smallest clasp, the smallest reliable clasp, I can find, and I leave the jump ring on it, and I open it sideways. That's the way you open jump rings. Slip one of these little rings on, and close it firmly. If you have a nice small clasp at the back, the whole thing is less likely 
to slide around when, when the choker is being worn. So there you have it, a little silver choker. And I'm sure that um, Marie Therese is going to really enjoy this. Think of the possibilities with this little choker. It's made to go into that little hollow in the neck, which Marie Therese doesn't have. But you can imagine your beads here. They could, you could make this same little choker with a, a long bead or a, a sort of a little hanging tongue kind of shape. Um, the possibilities are endless. The length of the chain I use in general for this necklace is 14 and a half inches.